Good afternoon. Today, the title of my presentation that I would like to share with you guys is Plus 20. 20. <laughs> can, can you imagine yourself 20 years from now? Some people are afraid of getting old. In my case, I always imagine that I'm older at a week and month or year. I expect that my maturity level will improve for the next 20 years. Then, I will be living in another country, like uh, Bali or Indonesia. Yes, Bali is Indonesia. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Second, I will play candle with my children. Yes, candle is my baby. Like this. Uh, next, I will write a book and have it published. And I will go back to my university and high school could give us it. This is my ultimate goal. The reason, the reason for this is I always imagine that if I have time, I would like to practice this. So I want to practice in front of you guys. Could you please prepare to be juniors from my university? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine it is now 2033. I will start. <laughs> Hello everyone. I think you guys are already know my name. Oh. I don't know. So, I'm not a humble person. <laughs> my name is Kay. Yes, my name is Kay. But I'm not okay. My personality is not okay. <laughs> Just kidding. And I'm 45 years old. <laughs> and I graduated from this university. Yeah. I'm your senior. I'm gonna tell you some tips for life. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Yeah. I just wanna tell you three tips. First, be confident. Second, follow you guys' heart. Third, don't be afraid of your failure. The first thing to have a confidence. <laughs> the confidence is a beautiful quality in any human being. And but how did we get it? And I think shows of, uh, shows on TV like image makeovers and many other things make promises. If we these things, we we'll be confident. But it will never really be us. Because that means we, we can not follow what they tell us. Because it is not a knowledge problem. It is our real world mind problem. Because confidence, it never comes from the things that we do. It has to come from who we are and who we are and how we we'll change the shape of our face, change who we are. It's an internal work, internal trust. And when you have it, when you can trust it, it comes out as confidence. So you guys, listen, just trust yourself. Second, follow your heart. How can we follow our heart? Very difficult. <laughs> I like this guy's heart. 
Nowadays, people work hard, hard working. So their manager acknowledges them. But when they are on subways, these people look gloomy. They have a long eye bags like a, they will done soon. We work hard, but where is our smile? Where is our beautiful smile? Why do we work hard? For what? Is it about the salary? Why do you guys study hard? Why do you want to get a high school in point? To enter big companies? Just for that reason? Wow, to worry. In my case, I graduated from Marshall Arts University. <laughs> and I have a cert certificate of physical education. So that allows me to teach middle and high school students. And I also have a certificate of Kendo, Judo, and Taekwondo. When I chose to become a PE teacher or the pre president bodyguard, a lot of people envied me. Um, it didn't make me happy. Yes, I can play candle very well because it is my major. But I was not happy. But trading makes my heart beat. So I just followed my heart. At the time, I did not study for 10 years because I was athlete. So, when I studied trading and English, it was too difficult for me. Because I have to find not only English meaning, but also Korean meaning. But I did not, I never gave up. <laughs> never gave up because my heart dream never allowed me to give up. And finally, I have my own trading company now. Are you guys happy? Or not? <laughs> happy? Okay. <laughs> Your life is valuable. We just only need one. Not twice. Just not in your heart. Not love who's there and follow your heart. Last, don't be afraid of failing. Are you afraid of challenges? Because you are afraid of being shamed. Listen. According to former U.S. President Teddy Roosevelt, it is not the critic who counts. It is not the man who sits and point out how the judge leads could have things done and how he has fallen out. The credit goes to the man in the arena whose face is marked with dust and blood and sweat. But when he's in the arena, at best, he wins. And at worst, he loses. But when he fails and loses, he does so brave and good. Guys, win or lose, it is not important. Just do your best. That's all. Thank you.